right, good morning. I am Dave Wood for Bag Up TV. We are on our way to Holcroft Fishery for the Shimano Aero Cup qualifier. Now, you're all probably thinking, Dave, oh, for God's sake, Alan Norris. Oh, I'm just accepting. Bonjour, fisherman. Nothing. Hung up on me. Oh dear, Alan must be in a mood. He was a little bit grumpy. He'll be, uh, oh, he'll be, he'll be angry today. Anyway, yes, you're probably all thinking, Dave, you don't need to go and fish this, you've already qualified. Yes, I've already qualified, but I talked to Dave Wesson and he said, look, if you've got other tickets, you can still fish them as an open match because they're paying the top five and they're paying like 45, 50 quid a section. Oh no, it's more, it's like 70 quid a section. So I thought, I'd already planned it, I've already planned my videos out and everything like that, and I thought, well, why not? Why can't, well, I might as well go fish it, I Um So I've already qualified for this, but I'm just fishing for the money, basically. It's like any other match. Um, so, yeah, and I like Oakcroft as well. It's not that far from me. Like I said before, it is a feeder and bomb match, so it's a feeder, bomb, and you can fire in pellets by catapult, or you can chuck bait in as well by hand. So uh, it's called the Ledger Cup. So I think that's what they're going for that sort of situation. So anyway, uh, I'm going to get there now, and then uh, I'm just going to get there and gloat to everybody like this. I've already qualified, and Alan Norris and Jeff Wiseman and all them. But hopefully, they'll get qualified today. So, anyway, let's get there now, see what happens. I do, don't I? Mm. Remember UK champs? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, mate, you ain't too big for a slap no, down no, head. No, no, no. Ooh, is that corner, is it? David. Oh, can you open us that, mate, please? Did you catch all the shouting? No, people said, film it, film it. I said, no, I can't do that. Moat out of 39. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, thanks for that. I'm always there. Don't matter. Right, well, you'll never guess where we've drawn. Yes, it is peg 39, just outside of Bubbly Bay. And I'm sure the last time we fished Old Croft, I drew the same peg. So that's where I am. Um, 
It might be a little bit different today because they've put more outer and island in. You can only chuck halfway. We've got about six or seven spare pegs between us. Um, so we've got plenty of room, but you can't chuck to the far bank. You can only chuck to the middle. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind it at all. I'm not going to win the match from there. That is for certain. It is probably only going to be um, a section win if we can do so. I'm next to Bryce Sullivan. We'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, hopefully have a good one. So let's get going. Right, here we are, peg 39, just off my favourite place, Bubbly Bay, which is in this corner here. So we're just out of it. Um, hmm, don't know what to think. But uh, you can only do your best. Give it a go, see what happens. Let's get set up and then uh, we'll talk you through what I'm going to be doing. Like I said, it's a method feeder bomb match. Uh, pegs on both sides, so we can only chuck to the middle, can't chuck across. Got Bryce Sullivan this side, Barry Armson across, Andy Kinder there. Don't know who that is, um, but that's it. Probably just um, chuck my fit out into the middle, underarm, and then down the margin. Probably both sides. Got a bait up rod, my spectre. Rod Hutchinson bait, tech bait, up rod. Um, I've got two 5G rods, one with a bomb, one with a method, and then I've just got a spare method on my Cortex. Fish with pellets only, you know the drill. Um, there we go. Um, wafters, we've got a few maggots, a bit of corn. We're, uh, what time is it now? Have a look. It is 5-2. So, just going to get my stuff all ready, sat down, and hopefully we'll have a nice day. So, uh, see how we get on. Right, so, uh, about two minutes from the off now. So, uh, probably going to start short, I would think. And then go from there. Not going to do anything to... Uh, Razor. It's a bit funny here because me and Barry like are straight across from each other. So I'm hoping that he's going to go this side and I'll go this side, sort of thing. Uh, I think we're only two of them straight across from each other, and all to be honest. Or maybe 
maybe Kinder there, but Kinder's drawn a good peg, normally catch to this area to here. And it's normally a good peg that I've seen them catch there quite a lot in a few of the matches and they've always caught there so I'm kinder I'd be happy with that. So uh yeah, about a minute to go and then uh, we'll uh, get chucked in. See what happens. Sometimes you can just nick one straight away. Um, right, well, I'm going to feed this bomb. Harry's going in there, so I'm going to go over there. People do, aren't you? Because see, if I just went straight at him from you're too close to Barry, and you want your own sort of water to chuck into, so right. back to you and we've caught some out. that's all I'm doing at the moment feed that bomb line and then just fish uh, short that's the plan I'll come back to you and we've caught some out. right we've got one on the tip nothing short so we have to uh, cast it out into the middle Barry Arms and have one across. Until it's a weekday, can't you? We all noise from uh, from that factory up there. to get one in the back. <coughs> Hopefully. We'll have a few more of them.
Well, let's get this chucked out, get another ham. Right, second fish, well, second calf anyway. We've had a couple of little skimmers. Barry's doing quite well over there. And Kinder's had a few as well. Um, I've just been on the phone to my mate Jeff. Have you missed me? Have you missed me? Jeff Wiseman. Don't Jeff Wiseman's been on the phone with me. Yeah, have you missed? <laughs> have you missed me? Have you missed? I'm like Jeff. Have I missed you? What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, he ain't had a bite yet, has he, Jeff? He says Alan Norris is pleasure fishing. So you must have eight or nine pegs spare next to me. I said, oh. That'll be it then, oh, not sure, uh, not sure he'll be qualifying today then, I would have thought, any of them pegs. So we'll see how he gets on. Chucked out again another. Right, got another one. It was like one of them skimmers. Um, I've just had to change my landing net because that woman uh, cat just brought my woman landing net with that bit. So I've got her eight big on. This is in uh, St Albans Lake. Uh, net. <laughs> You've got to have like a 17 inch, what is it, 20, 26 inch or something, I can't remember, it's a nice, you've got to have a massive net to go to St Albans, so that's the biggest net I've got, but I suppose it's alright for, uh, for all crop, isn't it, because it's a big bloody fish in it, so it'll do me. Feeding me lines. All you can do in it. So at the minute, I've got 22 pound on my clicker. I've uh, got two carp, which are quite big ones, and then I've got three little skimmers and that um, that sort of little bigger skimmer and that big way really, but. I think Barry's got a couple of carp and a couple of skimmers. Um, Kinder's doing quite well, and he's got one at the minute. It's Kinder. Yeah, he's doing quite well. I knew that. That I knew that peg's really good. 
uh, chuck into aerator so it's always been a bit of a good peg that so I won't be surprised if Kinder uh, does really well from there so but uh, yeah talk to Jeff Jeff hadn't had a bite yet and uh, I haven't seen really anyone else catch out I can only see a little bit here so I'm not worried about uh, right up in the corner because we know they're going to catch so just keep what we're doing and hopefully we'll have a few more fish Right, I've got another one down track again. I've just talked to Norrish and he's got one skimmer, so he's fishing really hard on that other bank. Um, so, yeah, he said it's terrible. Hopefully, like, he'll start catching a few, but yeah, he says he's got loads of spare pegs. But, uh, I think best on here, Kinder's doing probably the best at the minute. This one more get its head. Small calf, I think. Fight right now. Right. Right. in the bag. Right, just alternate in lines, just in middle and short, I'm just call this short. And uh, I'm just looking over at Andy Kinder because Andy Kinder's got about four or five carp. And then I looked up with the rod arched round. So it's on floor, isn't it? It's raining, then it's red hot. Bloody nightmare. Look at this. 
just don't want to go in this. I don't think it's that big either. Well, about six or seven pounds, I think. I saw that skimmer. Barry's just got a flying skimmer. Well, that puts us on four carp. Uh, so, carry on. Just going in again short. And, uh, Dave Wesson's just been around and uh, he says he, he hasn't seen really anyone catch for He says, well, I still think Andy Kinder's winning out of it. Stage, was it?
Right, well, um, it is half past two, so we've got an hour and a half left. Um, so Jeff Wiseman has got one cart, one skimmer, he said. He said he's doing quite well up there. He's in peg 103 or something. Uh, Nosher has had four little skimmers and a perch. He said he's not doing very well in his sort of section. He says two carp is winning it. I think Steve Curtis somewhere over there. On here, where I am, I've got five carp and a, about three or four little skimmers. Um, Kinder's said he's got four carp. I think he's got a bit more. And he's got quite a good weight of skimmers as well. Um, and then Barry Armson, he's got seven carp, seven skimmers. But he says these are a little bit smaller. Um, and I've got two bloody monster carp, me. I've got £42 on the clicker. He says he's got about forty pound. Kinder's probably got probably about about the same. So we're all sort of similar in this area. Um, we've heard on Croft that Croft the corners are on Croft like one. I think it's twelve. Is it twenty four? Something like that. Twenty six in corn. I can't remember the pegs, but the, all the corners on Croft are really doing well. Bridge isn't fishing that well, apart from if you're in a corner on bridge. Um, and I don't know what peg six, peg nine, or anything like that they're doing up there, but um, from what we know, um, our sort of zone section sort of thing's fishing quite well. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what it's like. But I think this next sort of hour and a half, we should start getting a few more fish. And uh, yeah, it's going all right. I'm enjoying myself. I don't know what Brian's got though next door. I can't really see what Brian's got. Brian Sullivan. Um, I'm sure he'll have a few because he's local resident on here, so I'm sure he'll have a few fish. But yeah, enjoying it at the minute. Just chucking it middle, find a few pellets of it top, and then I've I've had one carp short and a few skimmers, but most of my bites have been down the middle. So it's going to keep on that. I have kept putting a bit of bait down the edge and trying it, but. I've not had anything down the edge. Um, so I'm going to keep putting a little bit of bait in. And I've got a big bait up rod, which I'm going to put five or six down there in the next sort of 10 or 15 minutes and um, see if there's any carp what come over. So doing all right at the minute, enjoying it. And uh, we'll just have to see what happens. But uh, oh, and Beefy, Beefy's on peg five on island which is a really good peg and he's only had one carp so he said it's not fishing great up there but never know anyway back at it and uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit just got another one. I thought I'd put the camera on but it doesn't seem to have come on. Uh, I've just done another one down this edge and um, it were about seven or eight pounds, something like that. But Barry seems to have overtook me. He's got eight carp. Kinder's just had two more so I think he's got... Right. Hmm. <laughs> 
Ghosty. Ghost cat. The nuts out there. I wonder why it were eight strange. Fighting with you. I was just about to say before I got dragged in by that blooming I mean, uh, ghost car that uh, I just caught two big ones down the edge when I put the camera on and the bloody camera had run out of battery so I changed the battery, put a new battery in and we're back up and running and uh, I was just about to sell you and then Rod Arch ran and I just got that ghosty so uh, I've got nine cart now but uh, Barry and uh, Kinder seem still, they're still catching so I just need to keep Keep my head down, see if we can keep catching a few more. And uh, yeah, hopefully, there's only half an hour left now, so hopefully, we can get a few more. Be lovely, that nice, nice end. If we can get a couple more carp like that, uh, Nosh is not doing well, Jeff's not doing well, Beef is not doing well. Um, not heard of, of anybody else, don't know what's being caught further up, but uh, we'll just carry on keep going last half an hour now so if i get a big one i'll probably film it if not we'll see you at the weighing and hopefully we'll uh yeah might might catch a few more so fingers crossed for me if not we still had a lovely day fishing no pressure today it's been uh, nice to have no, not really much pressure on it and just fish the match uh, and not trying to qualify and stuff like that so um but yeah kind of still catching so uh yeah, keep going, see what happens. My tongue kill, it's uh, gone round again. Feels like another absolute monster. When this one went and all, got a massive vortex down in that corner. So I don't know if there's, there was a few there or this one's an absolute monster. So uh, we'll see. Not the biggest one today.
houses. <laughs> God say. Well, that's enough, I think, for filming. Don't need any more than that, do I? So here we go then, 15 people, Moat Island, Tony Casino, Barry Arnson, Andy Kinder, Dean Evanett, Rob Bergin, Moat Outer, David Warren, Martin Carpenter, Brian Sullivan by default, Steve Carr and Stephen Hanrahan by default, Croft Bridge, Ollie Stringer, John Ray, Andrew Waite, Paul Turner, and Sean Stenton, thank you all for coming. Have a safe day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that's it. We're in the car. Um, I've ended up weighing 108 pounds 11, I think it was. 
for uh I can't really tell you where the section were. Oh, in fact, I've got it on here. Apparently the section was 27 to 93. Um, big section that, isn't it? Anyway, I've ended up winning the section, picking up uh, 70 quid, 108 pound. Oh, 108 pound eight I had, not 108 pound thing. Yeah. So uh, I've ended up, I ended up qualifying again for the blooming, um, but obviously because I qualified the first time, you just fish it as a match, like I said before. So, um, crazy that, isn't it? I've all qualified twice. Ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, nice pick up. Um, it was well worth fishing it again to pick up 70 quid for your section um, instead of just selling your ticket on for like 30 quid and that's it, isn't it, really? So, I've ended up getting my money back and more. So it's been been um, fair enough just fishing it to be honest, and I might I've got a ticket for Boston as well, and I might end up doing the same and just going to Boston because hey, oh, um, bit of champagne soup and over here. So I might end up doing the same at Boston because um, if you draw well at Boston, you win the match. You could pick up like nearly 200, 250 quid. So I might do the same there. Uh, Alan ended up having twenty two pound nothing. Jeff. Had one cart, one one summer, one uh, skimmer, nothing. Beefy, nothing. He'll love that beefy. He only collared me. He says, "You told me I had not at Lindholm." Let's calm down, beefy. Um, and then uh, they've been playing a chick on Jeff and nicking his keys, nicking his phone. I don't know. Childish games. He says, "You've had it. You've had it." I'm like, I ain't got any of your stuff. I don't do any of that silly business. Like little kids, they are. <laughs> Chipping in and crying in corner and all sorts. So, anyway, enough of that. Um, the lad on uh, Cross won it, I think. But I will put the results up for you now. You've probably already seen him on the video. Who's won it? Um, so I'll put the results up for you now. Well done to every, all the framers and well done to all the qualifiers as well. So, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. And a massive thanks to uh, Lee, the fishery manager here, and uh, and Dave Wesson and his. Uh, mate from match fishing magazine do a fantastic job so thanks very much for running these and they're a great match to be on really enjoyed it today so um that's it um qualified again picked up my section can't can't beat that can you come on nosher get your finger out what are you doing i might at boston i might have to just go and sit next to him Anna, and give him some tips or something he won't be happy with me um so that's it thanks very much for watching this one hope you've enjoyed it I certainly have and um, please give us a like give us a share all that good stuff uh, on there and if you want to become a member just hit the join button and you get to watch all of these videos before anybody else you also get to click on the uh, playlist which is the members only you can watch over 150 videos on there from all sorts of stuff um, bits and bats tackle talks all sorts of stuff on there so uh, if you want to be if you want more from bag up tv please consider becoming a member and uh, you can just hit the join button pick which option you prefer merchandise all available hats hoodies t-shirts joggers bag up tv merch all available just message me at bag tv at gmail.com and let me know if you want to order any and i'll send you an email with all the stuff on and all the sizes and everything so that's it thanks very much for uh, watching this one Glad you enjoyed it. Well, hope you enjoyed it. I Glad I enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. So that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Keep on bagging. Never break. Always fight. Never quit. We're right. Guys, thanks game. for tuning on the video. Yeah. If you want to see more shame. videos, hit this Sometimes awesome playlist down here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to become a member, hit the join button. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you soon. Keep on bagging.